Let's deal firstly with an issue that I think is culturally significant, a cultural watershed. A guy called Campbell Johnson, who played a few games for the All Blacks, uh, played for the Crusaders, has come out, taken the, the unusual step of coming out, and coming out, in case you don't know, um, that is like saying I am same-sex attract, I am gay, I am homosexual, whatever the trendy politically correct term is. He came out, not just to his, you know, friends and stuff, Campbell Johnson, who's no, no longer a playing all black, came out, I understand, on TV1 to the mother of the nation, Hillary Bar Barry. He told Hillary Barry he was gay. And, you know, I suppose as a journalist, you say that's a bit of a story. He is, as far as we know, well, well, no, no, he's the first openly gay all black or ex-all black to say he's gay. Um, and, of course, on the social media and everywhere, there's been a little, oh, how great of him. How wonderful. And the New Zealand Rugby Union's all over this like a rash. Oh, this is a great day for sport and everything. And Mark Robinson, uh, the current head of the NZR, he was a former teammate of his. So, OK, OK. A and I say, look, good on him. Um, good on him. You're allowed to say what you want in a country full of free speech about yourself and everything. And if he felt that that was good for him and the way he felt, good on you, Campbell Johnston. And I'd say... Um, nice to see that you got a positive reaction. You see, what were we worried about? Um, and I think, of course, we must have had lots of all blacks who were gay or homosexual over the years. Ridiculous statistically to think not. And I guess it's significant because even though it's gone really woke now in New Zealand rugby, uh, culturally, rugby, the all blacks are the most important um, cultural institution in this country. There's just by a country mile. They're bigger than the church. Rugby is our religion. Uh, rugby is our cultural icon uh, and rugby is at the centre of much of New Zealand society. So to have an openly gay rugby player, I guess, moves the ball up the field in terms of recognition, acceptance of people who are same-sex attracted and of homosexual men, and that's not a bad thing because it ain't a crime. In case you hadn't noticed lately, it's not a crime. So I say good on you, hat tip to Campbell Johnson, but I temper that with this. I, I guess what I'd like is a day where your sexuality, when you're a sportsman or a broadcaster, if you read the weather or you do a breakfast show on television or, if, or a politician or anything, doesn't actually matter. OK, doesn't matter because Campbell Johnson's sexuality doesn't matter to me. Um, it's not important to me that he's gay or otherwise. He was an all black. The thing that's important to me about an all black is that they win rugby games. And unfortunately, many all blacks lately cannot say they have won, won as many rugby games as they used to. And it would seem to me to conflate someone's sexuality or the idea of homosexuality with a particular sporting code, it's kind of blurring the lines of what sport is. And I know, and I note many people, because you've got to understand, like, women's rugby and you see a lot of lesbians play women's rugby. There's just no doubt about it. And there's a bit of a lesbian or homosexual community around rugby, which I don't know is the point of sport, to be honest. So I would much la rather live in a world where someone can be gay or not gay and they don't feel they need to go on national television to say it. And a lot of people say, oh, that's because you're a heterosexual male, Sean. Well, I don't know. Have I ever said I'm heterosexual? I suppose I might be a practising heterosexual or not practising heterosexual. But because I'm a journalist, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's not important. And I don't think it is important what an all black or a rugby player or any sports person has by way of sexual pre uh, preference or attraction. It ain't really my business. Um, so there we go. There we go. The ball has been moved up the field. Um, 
but it's not going to make, it's not going to get rid of all the prejudice and sometimes hatred that gay people um, face, uh, some gay people face in their everyday lives. But equally, I don't run, go around screaming I'm a heterosexual and maybe because I'm a member of the majority, I don't need to.